This is the third video in the series on maths teaching tips based on Craig Barton's research. The next tip is to make some key skills automatic through extended and repeated practice. Automaticity is vital to mathematical fluency. Just because a student has succeeded in a single lesson doesn't mean that learning will take place. If a student remembers that skill over time, that is an evidence of learning. So we need to give students regular opportunities to practice previously taught skills so they don't forget it. Learning skills by heart frees up space in working memory. The way to achieve this is by giving students enough opportunities to practice. One of the fundamental skills required in early maths is to move students beyond counting and onto memorising number bonds and methods for calculating. Knowing number bonds by heart, for example, 7 and 3 make 10, ensures space in students' working memory is not used up by counting, which is inefficient. For example, to work out 9 plus 7, you should explicitly teach students methods to calculate this rather than counting on 7 from 9. One example could be by making 9 a 10, because 10 plus 7 is easier then subtracting the one away from the first atom. Or more advanced students, by having a strong understanding of double facts and add end and some relationships, would perhaps recognise that by subtracting one from nine and then adding that to the second add in seven, will give you the same as a to date, a doubles fact. Similarly, eight plus seven can be solved through doubling seven and adding one, or by partitioning seven into two and five, you can make the calculation eight plus two, which obviously is a number bond for 10, and then adding five. But automaticity is much more than knowing number bonds. It also refers to these procedures and knowing them off by heart and making them automatic and procedural fluency takes practice. There are many skills to memorise and these depend on year groups, but some of the most important examples include number bonds and single digit addition and subtraction facts, doubles and halves, times tables up to their year group, and the four operation methods and procedures for addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. These skills should be taught explicitly in lessons and not left to students to catch up for homework or be taught over time through picking it up. The final video in a series will look at how we can ensure students become fluent in these key skills.